Welcome to another video. Today we're looking at question 287. Find the duplicate number. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by looking at a given value. So we'll be trading through every single value with the numbers. And we take that value and try to find uh, the, and we use that as an index to find the value that is in that given index and mark that as negative. So anytime we come across the same number again, we know that the number at that particular index has been marked negative. So all you have to do is check if it is less than zero and that is a duplicate number and you just return that. It's a pretty simple uh, approach to the problem. Um, not super easy to come up, to come up with it during the interview, but once you learn the trick, uh, you can go back to it again and again. Okay, awesome. So let's uh, let's get started. We have, um, let's get the length of the array. So this would be nums.length. Right, and then we iterate through all of them. So for in i equals zero, i less than length, keep incrementing i, um, and you get the index here. So int index would be equal to normally, it would just be numbers of, um, numbers of i, right? But this number uh, could have been marked as negative. So we need to get the absolute value. Right. Once we have the absolute value at that, um, at that we try to find out what the number is at that index. So if a nums of index is less than zero, that means we have seen that number before. So you would just return return index. If not, you mark that value as negative. So in this case, I would just multiply it by negative one, right? Um, and in the end, if you don't find, I don't know what the return value is. If you don't find the duplicate, we'll just return minus one. Okay, awesome. Let's try compiling this. The first few test cases are okay. Everything is okay as well. Okay, awesome. Let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. The time complexity of the entire solution is O of n, since we are iterating through every single element in the given array. Uh, the space complexity is O of 1, since we're not using any additional space to uh, find out the duplicate number. There are other ways of approaching this problem using a hash map and set and things along those lines, but that does use space. Um, uh, but yeah, this is a better solution. Awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'd really, really appreciate that. Thanks so much, and I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.